Hey horror fans, welcome back to Room 237, coming at you with another uh, trailer reaction. So earlier this week on February 5th, I know the lighting kind of sucks in here. I'm We have new lighting, I haven't quite figured out what to do yet. And I got my hair all chopped off, so that's blocking my face. But anyway, <clears throat> on February 5th earlier this week, a trailer for this new film called Spiral um, was released. There's a UK trailer, then a regular trailer. But the full title is Spiral from the Book of Saw. And yes, it is part of the Saw franchise. And this is coming from, I want to say around 2018 or so, 19. It was announced that Chris Rock, comedian, SNL alum Chris Rock, uh, was looking to reboot the Saw franchise. Plus, he'd been looking to get into horror anyway to do something different. <clears throat> and then a trailer dropped. I mean, this is sort of like Dr. Sleep where it was announced. And then before you knew it, there was a fucking trailer. I saw the trailer. I watched it twice. And I have to say, I'm very impressed. And I'm very interested. What interests me the most is... Uh, one, the trailer doesn't really give anything away, which for a trailer nowadays, or at least the last few years, is huge. I mean, horror movies, they put in all the scares, the kill scenes, endings, comedies, they put in all the jokes, uh, comic book films, they put in all the fights and one-liners and CGI stuff. Trailers, just, they put the whole movie in the trailer now. This is one of the best trailers I've seen with Joker and Dr. Sleep for just putting in enough to keep you interested. And what it apparently was going on is Chris Rock, I guess this was his pitch. He serves as executive producer and he's the star of the film. <clears throat> so to my understanding, this is his baby. This is his brainchild. This is something he's been wanting to do and got to do. And I give him credit because this looks like a role he should have been doing a long time ago. He, I guess there's going to be a little bit of comedy. Like the trailer opens up with sort of comedic banter between him and his uh, rookie partner because he plays a homicide detective. But it seems very natural to him. Like a lot of comedians can't, especially 20, 25, 30 year career long comedians have a hard time breaking out of comedy even getting into dramas let alone horror but this seems very natural to him like it, it seems like something he's been doing a lot so i really commend chris rock and it seems like he's gonna do great if there's any cons with the film i don't think it's gonna be him it does have samuel L. jackson which it's kind of hard to get excited because he's in everything. But it's Samuel L. Jackson, so you are excited. And yes, even though it's not a Red Band trailer, he does say, a motherfucker. You want to play games, motherfucker? Um, I guess the story is Chris Rock. He's this homicide detective. Samuel L. Jackson is the uh, veteran detective. Chris Rock's partner is a rookie. And they get tangled up in this murder case where there's a serial killer who leaves red spirals at the crime scene. These grisly crime scenes where there are traps <clears throat> and he's targeting cops. We don't know why. We don't know their connection. And eventually, you know, it does show a little bit of traps. Like we see gears turning and chains and blades but it doesn't show what the traps are, which is good. Then at the end of the trailer, we see Chris Rock. He is chained to a pipe in some sort of industrial room. Doesn't show if it's a bathroom or not, but some leaky, rusty industrial room. And he's given a hacksaw. That's all it shows. <clears throat> it doesn't... And we do see a. it hints at a doll, but it's... Even though you don't see it, you can tell it's not the Billy clown doll from the Saw films. 
And actually, if it didn't have the Book of Saw in the title, it was just Spiral, <clears throat> I would I would have thought of this as more of like a seven bone collector, kiss all the girls type of detective uh, procedural film, which we haven't had in years, and I love those kinds of movies. Seven and Silence of the Lambs above all. Bone Collector is very good as well. So is Kiss All the Girls. But it does have, have elements of Saw. It is continuing the franchise. But it doesn't say if it's a reboot. The premise on Wikipedia says, you know, grisly crimes that <clears throat> hint towards the city's past. So... And also the book of Saw kind of implies that John Kramer, Jigsaw, might exist in this universe, has a legacy. This is a copycat, which I would be fine with if that is the case. Or it could just be a straight up reboot. None of that ever happened and this is the start. <clears throat> um... Saw films themselves, I'm a huge fan of. Not so much Final Chapter and Jigsaw. I didn't really care for those. The first six I like. The first three, I think, are the best. Three is my favorite sequel. The first one is my favorite of the series. One of my favorite horror films of the 2000s. I mean, that's the horror franchise I grew up with. I saw Friday the 13th, Halloween, Elm Street. I saw all those before Saw came out. But Saw was the first, the only franchise I really grew up with. I was in seventh grade in 2004 when it first came out. My mom was really into those movies. So every year, because that's the only horror franchise that had a sequel every subsequent year, we went opening weekend to all of them, except for the first one. And that was our family tradition. We, we went to see Saw every year. So, I mean... There is some sentiment to this film. I want it to be good. It does look good. Um, it's directed by Darren Lynn Boseman, who directed Saw 2, 3, and 4. Even though I would say 4 is kind of the decline, 2 and 3 I really enjoy. It really does have that gritty, you know, harsh filter kind of look. You know, the Saw films, they looked either very gray or very green. This one has a similar look. It doesn't look like it's really going to focus on the gore, which even the first film wasn't very gory. It was more of a detective procedural where more and more shit unfolds. I would like it to be that. I want it very, very much to be that. Even if it's not gory at all. And this is coming from a guy who loves the Saw films, loves gore, Evil Dead is my favorite horror series. And when I saw a little bit of CGI in Ash vs. Evil Dead, I, I got hurt. I still love Ash vs. Evil Dead. So to say not really wanting gore in a soft film might sound blasphemous. But it looks like it's going in a completely different direction. Like, why is this person targeting cops? Did this person take the spiral, the name spiral, and the doll... The grizzly traps targeting a certain group of people as victims. Did he get that from Jigsaw, John Kramer? Did John Kramer even exist in this world? It doesn't say. And that's what a trailer should do. It, it should promote more questions than answers. And that's what this trailer did. It also comes out in May which has never been done before. They've all, all eight films have been released Halloween weekend in October. <clears throat> so it feels like it has, it has one foot in the Saw franchise, it has its other foot in a very different direction, which I applaud it for. <clears throat> um, I am stoked. I will be seeing this in May. Um, I definitely have more intrigue in this kind of reboot than I did when Jigsaw came out. Jigsaw felt like it was trying to go back to the well as far as what everyone thinks of Saw. This one looks like it's going back to the well of the first film, sort of what people forget about the first film. 
and we haven't had a homicide detective procedural film in a long, long time. Probably not since the 90s have we had a really good one. Again, I love Seven's one of my favorite movies. Silence of the Lambs, I even like more than that. Really like Bone Collector, really like Kiss All the Girls. We haven't had a movie like that in forever. So if it is more of that movie than it is Saw, I'll be happy with that. I want it to be good. Um, it seems like this movie is generating more interest than, say, a straightforward Saw remake, like when, when Jigsaw came out. <clears throat> or not remake, but reboot, reimagining, an excuse to make more sequels. Uh, I don't really have any predictions because the trailer was so vague, but in a good way, that I don't know if this is a copycat or a protege or a wannabe or he's the first of his kind. I, I don't know. Both the trailer and Wikipedia kind of hint towards both ways. Um, very impressed with Chris Rock. I mean, he's been known as a certain type of comedian for almost 30 years. And now he's doing this and it looks like he, it, he looks so natural. That, again, if there's any cons, it's not going to be with him. Like, he, this looks like a good move, career move for him. I'm excited to see him in a horror movie. <clears throat> and I'm excited to see where it goes. Even if this movie is a big success and is really good, I hope Hollywood can savor the flavor and not do a bunch of sequels just because it's good. Um... If it does have a twist, because it is a Saw film, at its core, it is a Saw film, that it feels the need to have a twist. I hope it doesn't go the Shyamalan route and just do something completely fucking stupid. Like it's, like Jigsaw's son Gideon actually lived, or Hoffman had a love child somewhere, or it's Dr. Gordon's daughter, or some, something stupid. I don't know if it's going to be like the Saw, the first film where maybe Chris Rock wakes up in this room with the hacksaw and we he, we see his recollections through flashback or if he gets too close to the answers and ends up in, in that situation. This is what a trailer should do. Make you think, make you interested, make you want to see it. And I want to see this movie. Um, when I first heard that they wanted to reboot it, I'm just like, even though that final chapter is not a good movie, it ended it well enough. I mean, there was fan theories when Saw 2 came out that Jigsaw or someone would end up in the bathroom. Gordon was going to be the apprentice the whole time. That's what happened. So even though it's a half-assed movie, it ended it the way everyone predicted, and I liked it. Jigsaw wasn't that great at all. It was a failed attempt. And <clears throat> this, it just, when I first found out about this, I thought they were kicking a dead horse. But the trailer really, it made me think more of Seven and Bone Collector than it did Saw, which is a good thing. They're, they're not Xeroxing Saw. They're, they're taking the bits they need and they're going their own way with it, which is, excellent so i'm very excited about this be growing up with the saw franchise and loving it to death i'm excuse me i'm more excited for this than i was jigsaw but anyway let me know what you think about uh, the spiral trailer if you're gonna see it in the saw franchise as a whole and we'll get back to this if there's another trailer that gives away more i'll do a reaction to that as well but we'll see so that my reaction to spiral is positive and i can't wait to see it so let me know what you think and thank you for watching